Welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm in Hanoi. Yesterday when I checked into the hotel, the hotel staff were so kind to share some of those travel tips and advice with me. How to be a smart traveler here in Hanoi. So I thought maybe I should make a video about that and share with you some of the tips to get you ready for a trip to Hanoi or just anywhere in Vietnam. And then you might ask, Winnie, why should we listen to you? Well, because I was born here. So let's get started. The first thing I do when landing in a new country is getting some local currency and a SIM card. You can do both at the Hanoi airport. In the arrival area, you will see many currency exchange booths selling SIM cards there. I check the exchange rate online to ensure that it is a fair rate and they don't take commission fees here. But here's a caveat, some places don't accept the old $100 bill. Bring the new $100 bill, not the old one. because. The first booth I went to, they didn't take my old $100 bill. And honestly, I was offended for the $100 bill. Because on face value, it's $100. It's worth $100. Why do you judge my dollar bill? Here, people judge your bill based on its age. So bring the new one if you don't want to get rejected by the money exchange place. And when I walked down several booths, I found a lady that will take my old $100 bill. But she tried to lowball me by only giving me this rate. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna to go to the ATM. So she changed the rate to this rate. And I was like, you know what? It's fair enough because this is the market rate. I'll take the two million and three hundred thousand, please. In Vietnam, the easiest way to do it is just get a local SIM card if your phone is unlocked. I got a SIM card at the airport for fifteen dollars, giving me ten gig of data for thirty days. Vietnam's three most popular mobile carriers are Viettel, Mobifone, and Vinaphone. There are different packages to choose from based on the duration of your visit and the data you need. Typically, it ranges from $6 to $15. I recommend booking your taxi ahead of time to avoid bargaining at the airport. The airport is super busy and you will be overwhelmed. So it's good to know that you have a car waiting for you. I book my transport via Cloak and my ride from the airport to Hanoi's old quarter is only $15. Now let's look at some of the tips from the hotel. The first thing first I find it really cute. Look at that visual. So this is how to cross the street here in Vietnam, in Hanoi. Well, you have to check your steps. So when you first step down, when you're ready, just you know, kind of like take a look at the situation first, and then once you start, when you commit to the cross, don't go back. You have to keep moving forward. You just have to walk confidently. You can stop to let car or motorcycle pass you, but you cannot step back because they do not anticipate you to step back. They will think that you will keep going. So when you start, you go, and be aware of all the beeps. Just the beeps are just like warning and cautions and all that. It can be irritating, but it's okay. It's you notice it's actually very common here. And they still go. Look, it's red light. They still go. Okay, so as you are strolling down, especially in this part of Old Town, you will see a lot of street vendors, and they can just you know kind of like ask you to come over be like hey come look at my stuff come look at my stuff if you're not interested in anything just say no and then just walk away or just ignore them and it says on here do not smile it's kind of rude but yeah that's true you just gotta ignore them you gotta be cold and walk away if you're thinking about traveling in vietnam or a lot of southeast asia country or for the matter of fact a lot of places in the world you should bargain when you're buying from a local street vendor you ask them to give you the price first and then you will go half or even lower than that. And usually at the end, you might meet in the middle. The biggest, the biggest thing is willing to walk away if you are not getting your price. Only take out your wallet when you're ready to pay. When you agree on the price, don't take it out too soon. So now this is the more serious part. This is how to avoid pickpocketers. 
um, on the street. So keep your passport and your valuables safe at the hotel room. If you wear a backpack, wear it in the front like what I have. I just wear a little fanny pack in the front whenever I walk. And, uh, be aware of like fake travel agents. They will be like coming close to you and kind of like hand you a piece of paper be like, hey, hey, you want to sign up for this tour? But deep down, they want to come close to you, invade your personal space and take your stuff. And don't let anybody touch you. And if they come close enough and they want to, you know, try to touch you, step away, step back, tell them no, because that is when they try to come close to grab your valuable. I hope you like all the tips. Give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you find this video helpful. And let me know in the comment below when you're planning a trip to Vietnam, to Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City. I'd love to know. Bye! Yeah.